And as the current pandemic exposes the United States' reliance on China, one former congressman is warning about China inflicting domestic trade. One America's Stefan Kleinsens reports. I'm joined now by the former congressman from Oklahoma, Ernest Istook, and a current fellow with the Frontiers of Freedom. Ernest, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Good to be on with you. A lot of people have pointed out some issues with the U.S. relationship with China, but you're talking about something that many people haven't mentioned. What is that? Well, certainly people have become increasingly aware of the challenges that China poses. And when we're dependent upon China for so much, uh, people begin to recognize that's not healthy. What they often don't realize is that we are dependent upon China for all of global trade. And when you realize that 90 percent, 90 percent of world trade goes by ship. So the shipping industry that covers all the trade routes all around the world is increasingly dominated by China. Some people are trying to let China get into our domestic shipping market not to come into ports from international destinations, but to handle trade between U.S. points. And that is prohibited by something called the Jones Act. It turns 100 years old this year. It had uh, predecessors in U.S. policy before, and it's a national security issue. If you're going to be doing trade in uh, in uh, vessels within the United States, you have to have a ship that's American built, American owned, and American crewed. In your piece, like you mentioned, you highlight the Jones Act here. Is there a threat to this Jones Act that perhaps if it's removed, you allow China in? What does that look like? Well, if, if it's removed, you allow anybody in, all right? Uh, it could be China, it could be someplace else as well. But China has this world domination plan. They call it the One Belt, One Road Initiative. They've been taking over ports all over the world, uh, both ends of the Panama Canal, uh, strategic points by the Suez Canal, along the Indian Ocean trade route, several ports in Latin America and in Europe, in Australia. They are trying to dominate global trade. Now, some people say, well, let's go ahead and let them because they'll offer us cheaper shipping rates. And therefore, they say all that matters is money and not national security. The Jones Act is not an economic regulation. It's a national security requirement. So that's where the issue is right now with some people overtly campaigning to end the Jones Act and let foreign competitors come in. As a former congressman and someone who currently works on public policy, what do you hope that people on the Hill will do going forward as far as the U.S.'s relationship with China? Well, it's kind of like uh, when it comes to the Jones Act, the first thing is first, do no harm. Don't repeal it. I realize that China can offer cheaper shipping, but with that comes control just like they've gotten control of manufacturing sectors uh, with so many consumer goods, so many electronics and so forth. It's not just about money. It's about retaining uh, the economic base and the jobs uh, within the United States of America as well. Former Congressman Ernest Iztook, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.